Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Final Fantasy VII Classic. Today, well, we're on a train. Woo, trains. Selfie would be proud. Last train stop, uh, train out for Sector 8 Station. Last stop is Sector 7, Train Graveyard. What a name, right? I know, it's horrifying. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgard Standard Time. Takes up the whole row. Barrett is a wide man. This is why I hate the last train, oh boy. Hello. There's your house. Now this is a train. No, we'll have to talk to him later. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. Nah, I gotta talk to everyone, dog. Terrorists? In number one reactor? No. That's not us. We're heroes. We're not terrorists. Hi, how's it going? I haven't switched to security mode. Oh, okay. So Wedge just wants to be famous. Good for you, Wedge. Uh, do you have a bright feeder? Uh, you know what? What do you have in mind? I mean, you don't have to just be a sidekick, but you are kind of a sidekick here, too, so I don't really get the... I don't really get what you're talking about, Wedge. I mean, that was pretty exhausting, right? You're asleep now, right? Oh, no, you just... Okay. Hey, Jesse. You gotta talk to Jesse to advance this. Hey, Cloud. You wanna have a look at this with me? It's a map of Midgar Real System. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and motors, uh, monitors, you know? Flashy stuff. That's one way to put bombs, I guess. Okay, it's about to start. This is the complete model of the city of Midgard. It's about a one ten thousand scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. The main pillar supports the plate on the center, and there's no other small pillar. Uh, there are, and there are other small pillars. Built in each section. Psst, whisper, whisper. The number one reactor we just blew up was in the northern section. There are, then there's number two, number th three, all the way up to number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we just refer to them as number sectors, uh, by number sectors. That's how things turned out. Huh. <sighs> let's, what, look what's next. Uh, yeah, look, look what's next, look. Okay. This is the route the train's on. The route, uh, spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has ID center devices. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train. And it's linked to the linked up to the central data uh, bank of the Shinra headquarters. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Hey Jesse, you're not whispering at all, you know that, right? Speak of the devil. The light means that we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creep will come out. We're almost back now. What do we leave? Now, if you talk to Jesse again, you get this dialogue prompt. I know. Next time I'll make one just for you. Thanks anyways. Looking forward to it. If you say thanks anyways, you lose affection with T. But I like Jesse, and it's not that big of a loss. So I'm going to say looking forward to it. Okay, then I'll put a little extra effort into it and make it a, with a bang. And I think now everyone has... I've just tripped the, the dialogue with Barrett. All right. Well, I was going to talk to Wedge and Biggs. Uh, I think Biggs is asleep and Wedge is mumbling something to himself incoherently. Look, you can see the surface now. The city doesn't... don't have no... Uh, this city don't have no day or night. If the plate weren't there, we could see the sky. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expected to hear that out of someone like you. You're just full of surprises. The upper world, a city on a plate. It's because of that beat pizza that people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. Then why doesn't everyone move onto the plate? Don't know. Probably because they ain't got the money, or maybe because they love their land, and no matter how polluted it gets. 
I know, no one lives in the slums because they, they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where the rails take it. I mean, people can make choices that change their lives. But it is hard. Especially when you're in poverty or like that. It's hard to get out of it. There's... There's, there's a big uphill battle from that sort of stuff. And of course, when you have a corrupted corporation holding everyone down, it's just harder. You don't really have to jump off the train, guys. Well, like, how big is the drop from the train? Just walk off. Everyone else did. Hi, how's it going? Yo, get over here, all of you. How long you been here, dog? Do you actually say how long you been here? No. Anyways, hi. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. But don't you all be scared of that expl that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. Meet back at the head hide hideout. Move out. You guys want to talk? No? So if you go over here, you are in the train graveyard. You can get into encounters here. Uh, I believe there are new enemies here. I don't know how strong they are. Let's uh, let's get into a combat here and see. Are these the enemies from later on? No, no, they're sweepers. Okay. So I think that, I guess they're just the same enemies from uh, the reactor right now. No big deal. If you want to level up here, you can, I guess, but not really a point to it. We can get better experience and better money elsewhere. Hi, guys. You're not letting me go. Oh, him! Oh, okay. Got my hopes up there for a second. I thought someone was actually going to love me. <laughs> go up here and be like, hi, random person who looks like they need the pee. Hey, now. Oops. What on earth are you doing? I just butt out. Jeez. Huh? You came to see it, too. There was a bombing on the top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey, check it out. It's huge, ain't it? Yeah, it is gigantic. We look like ants to it. That is actually pretty big, huh? So, that metal thing itself isn't the pillar, obviously, but that giant pillar next to it is. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here when you want. See ya, bro! Alright, well, here's a save point if you need it. Yo, Cloud, over here, now! No! I'm, I'm exploring, Barrett! Jeez! <laughs> Just goes into his own bar and starts shooting up the place. Good job, Barrett. Now, if we hurry, we can talk to him and go, Haha, you want to meet your little baby? Out of the way! <laughs> Just calm down. Can't have people suspecting us. All right, well. Actually, there's really nothing we can do right now. We can talk to some people over here. You're blitzed. Ballroom blitz, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it was completely blown up. So yeah, that is a bar, obviously, and Barry just kicked out all the customers. Did you hear? No, what? There's a news update. Ah, oh, terrorist explosion, you don't say. No, what? Oh, okay. A billion gil worth of damage. A lot of insp Oh, yeah, that is actually true. They don't really go into too much detail about it. And maybe that's something we'll address in the remake, but yeah, that explosion we just did, it killed a lot of innocent people. Like, workers just in the, the surrounding. That was a terrorist attack. By not just the definition of it, by all standard purposes. Like, we are a terrorist group. We're saving the planet, trying to save the planet, but to the populace, where we just blew up 
uh, an electric company. It's like if someone went to, like, National Grid and blew them up. Sure, some people might be happy, but others would be like, Jesus Christ, they just, there was a terror terrorist attack at National Grid. Marlene, aren't you gonna say hi, say anything to the cloud? <laughs> Welcome home, cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Uh, yeah! I should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. So this is Tifa. Everyone, everyone really loves Tifa. Flowers, how nice. You must never see them here in the slums. But a flower for me? Oh, Cloud, you shouldn't have. All right, so if you give this to Tifa, you get points with Tifa. If you give this to Marlene, you get points with B. Now, we're gonna give it to Tifa. Thank you, Cloud, it smells wonderful. Maybe I should fill the store with flowers. Sorry, Cloud. Mar Marlene seems a little shy. Hi, Marlene. I'm a soldier. Relax, soldier. Talk to me, Biggs. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I don't know why, but I know Cloud's kind of like a jackass for the most part, at least early game. But I kind of like playing him as like a just kind of nice guy. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, your teeth is the reason why you're roly poly. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> All right, so I think we just need to go over here, and then we jump onto the table for some reason. Papa, welcome home! You're all right, Barrett? Great! Get in here, fools! There's that Mr. T feeling. <laughs> Reference, I guess. We're starting the meeting! Now, we could go over there, but we're gonna go talk to Tifa for a little bit. Hi, Tifa. Talk to me. Sit down. How about it? Something to drink? Give me something hard. This will give you extra points with Tifa. Just a minute, I'll make one just for you. It would've been kinda of funny if that was like a QTE and we missed the glass. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? The job wasn't even tough. So it wasn't, really. I guess not. You weren't soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Don't worry. Once I get my money, I'm out of here. Cloud, are you are you feeling all right? Yeah. Why? Oh, you know, I just poisoned the drink you just drank, so I thought you might be tired. No, she's just worried about us. I thought, <laughs> first time I came down here, I heard that sound effect. I really didn't mean to go over here just yet to proc the conversation, but um, I thought Barrett was shooting something down here. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. <laughs> you sound pretty sure. If there were anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Don't go thinking you're so bad just because you were a soldier. Biggs, you, could probably, you should probably let him go. Dots. Told you, Biggs. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all of them guys and soldiers are. But don't get you forget that you're a skinny ass working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to uh, hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You ask me a question, I answer it. That's all. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Wait, Cloud! Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up! I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Hi, Jesse. Money. Oh my, it must have been a lot of it. Sure! Well, why the hell not? It's a verbal agreement. Now, now, let me figure this out. Oh, stop it, Cloud. Did you hear me? If you talked to her beforehand, she would have mentioned a little bit more about the how the explosion was uh, bigger than expected and there was more casualties than she thought there would be. You just want friends. Blow off. 
You know what? I play him as a nice guy for the most part, but blow off. I just like the phrase blow off for some reason. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you, please join us. Sorry, Tifa. The planet is dying, slowly but surely it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. I get nothing to do with me. So you're really leaving? You're just gonna uh, going to walk out on uh, walk out ignoring your childhood friend? What? How can you say that? If you say how can you say that? You get points with Tifa. If you say sorry, you lose points with Tifa. Kind of self-explanatory, right? It's like choose first one to not be a dick. Choose second one to be a dick. You forgot about the promise too. Promise. So you did forget. Remember, Cloud, it was seven years ago. Age-wise, that would mean Cloud was like 14. He's 21 right here, Tifa's 20. Look, the well. It just came out of nowhere. Do you remember? Cloud's like, how'd you get a projector in here? Yeah, back then. I thought you were never you would never come and I was getting a little cold. He doesn't really look like a 14-year-old here, does he? Sorry I'm late. Well, say something, Cloud. Jesus. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town. But I'm different from them. I'm not going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sethiroth. Sethiroth? The great Sethiroth? That always stuck out to me, the way she refers to him to the great Sethiroth. I think that's the only point in the game that he's mentioned like that. Isn't it hard to join, soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Huh? If you make it, will you be at the newspapers? I mean, maybe. I don't think it's like a guaranteed thing, but I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if I, you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you'll come and save me, alright? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. What? <laughs> You're putting a lot of pressure on the boy, Tifa. Come on, promise me. Alright, I, I promise. Try to live up to that expectation, Cloud. You remember now, don't you? Our promise? I'm not a hero, and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you gotta keep the keep your promise. Wait a second, big time soldier. Let me reach into my chest here. Here's my heart. A promise is a promise. Here. Steve's bear stash, 1500 gil. This is my pay? Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You get the next mission lined up, I'll do it for 3000. What? It's okay, it's okay. We're really hurting for help, right? <sighs> that money's from Marlene's schooling. 2000. Thanks, Cloud. I didn't agree to that, I want 3000. So he has a soft spot, clearly. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot of money now. We're gonna be spending some of that real soon. 
<laughs> that is Marlene. <laughs> that noise. She's a she's apparently a bartender in training. You can't really talk to her right now. Hi, Tifa. Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Uh, so if you say next to you, who wouldn't you get points with Tifa? Actually, is that true? Yes, you do. Okay, all right. If you say Barrett's snoring kept me up, you get points with B for some reason. I don't know what you mean. I'm going this time. Hi, Barrett. Our target is the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud. Uh, before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh, I don't really know how to use materia. I'll give you that materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. Huh, okay, I'll explain it. It's... Very simple. Uh, we'll let the tutorial play out, but the main gist of it is your equipment has materia slots. You put materia in those slots by going to the materia menu and then selecting the slots. Now, not every materia is like a spell casting materia. There are some other materias that are maybe passive stat boosts like HP and MP materia, or there's sub commands which we don't have access to just yet, but, you know, stale sense, you know, spoilers. Uh, there's also additional ones that will help you add effects to, like, your weapon or an element to your weapon or to your armor. Um, you don't really need this tutorial. It is the most basic of basic things. Now, the thing about materia, if you look down there, it says equip effects. Each materia has something like that. There are some that don't have any, but for the majority, they have some equip effects. And magic materia all reduces strength by a certain amount. One, there are some that do two. Uh, I think summon ones do like four. Is that correct? There might be two or three. Um, or and they and they reduce max HP, but it increases magic attack and max MP. So there's a trade-off, right? The more materia you equip, the more of a spell cast you become, the less of a physical fight, physical fighter you become. So there is that sort of balancing thing there. You can just like bulk someone up with materia and make them a caster. They won't do as much damage physically. They'll still do all right damage physically in the long scheme of things with weapons and all that jazz. But yeah, if you if you like tank someone full of materia, you will want them to do mostly casting. If you want something to do mostly physical, maybe the passive sub-command ones are more your your jam, right? Though most people will want to have some material on someone, right? Uh, and the way I play it, I'm always going to have material equipped to people because they level up by being used, not used in battle, but being equipped to you when you uh, gain AP in battle. So you never want to have like uh, pretty much an empty slot once you get the materia system. There's just, there's no real reason to do that that way. He says he'll give Vance tips later, but that he won't. Beep, what's this? It wasn't even that tough, crap. I don't get it. You just handle the materia, Cloud. Then we have access to the materia system. Cloud, I get a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you, don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. All right, good luck. She's like four. I'm not even exaggerating there. She's like four years old. She might be a little older than that, but she's like four. Uh, up here, there's the team. <laughs> and this is Johnny. We'll be seeing him throughout the game. He's leaving here, though. Now, that person over there, that was Johnny's parents. We can go talk to them in a second. You hope he doesn't get hurt? I mean, maybe. Oh, everyone at the town was peeking at us in the bar? Tifa's trial good friend, that's a good one. Alright, let's go talk to Johnny's parents. And then we'll head up to the weapon shop. Hi! Aw. It's got em empty nest syndrome. Is that all you guys say? Oh, no. Yeah, no, he's already gone, dog. Why did he still have a fire truck, though? I like the jacket. Maybe that's maybe that little boy over there is Johnny's brother or something. What are you doing? Are you spying on Marlene? Huh. 
if there's anyone that doesn't. <laughs> All right, cool. How about you, dog? Uh, you should probably seek help for that if you're lonely when you're not drinking. All right, so over here is a materia shop. Well, it's an item and materia shop. Yeah, I am a customer. Well, yeah, for the most part. So yeah, we got items here. We really don't need to buy any of these right now. You really... The way I play, you really only need one materia. Now, we could get fire materia here. We're actually going to get one later on in the game that's fairly well leveled up. And there's not many things that are weak to fire that we need to uh, worry about it right now. You can stick to mainly just ice and lightning. And uh, I'm pretty much just going to save the 600 uh, gil right now and not purchase the fire. There is like a couple of enemies that we would want fire on, but in the grand scheme of things, we're... It doesn't. We're saving money more than anything. We're not going to be using fire just yet. So, and we're going to be getting one later on. So, just like I say, don't worry about that. Uh, we want to go up here, and this is the weapon shop person they wanted us to come visit. So we take this. This is an all materia. Hey, you got one right off. That was materia. Next, take this, and we receive an ether. Now listen, hidden in these chest, uh, treasure chests are a lot of items. There are box types and bag types. Make sure you don't overlook any. So yeah, the all material we just got is something that we'll want to have on someone. So put all restore. What this does for one turn, because it's level one only, uh, will you cast cure on the entire party? That's what it does. We cannot uh, multi-target based on uh, just the spell anymore. We need the all materia. Realistically though, I'm probably actually just gonna put uh, all on the buster sword with lightning so I can kill things easier. We're gonna be getting armor in a minute that has uh, extra materia slot. And in here, there's a bunch of tutorials that really we don't Sorry, Cloud saying he'll rap with you for a while is uh, the funniest thing I think I've heard in a long time. Um, yeah, there is just tutorial, and really, you don't need any. I don't need any of it, and we're going to really be going over it as we progress through the game anyways. So it's... I mean, you know about escape, right? You escape from the enemy. Gauge is the ATB gauge. And, you know, there's the uh, protect and shell gauges and haste gauges as well. We don't really need to go over that right now. We'll go over it when we, uh, when we get access to them. Change defend, change rows, defend. So it's kind of basic stuff, right? And this goes over the limit breaks, which you've already seen, right? <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for that boy because she's about to kick his ass. There he goes. <laughs> Great! You brutalized that child! And over here is a save point, which we already know what a save point does. And with that, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you hit my video section, check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. If you're watching my live stream, head on twitch.tv slash Plays. give my channel a follow, let me notify when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.